Okay, so here we go again. Um, I have to film with my rear camera because the front facing camera would not give me, um, it inverts all my writing. And I don't write from, from left to right, from right to left, whichever way. Okay, so yesterday we talked about cortisol. For everybody who was on my live yesterday who can remember, talked about how cortisol can influence so many things, especially if you want to lose weight. And remember I said that hormones, they all act together. And we talk about this, people say, oh, you know, but this will speed up your metabolism and all these things about how you can increase your metabolism. The red piece here is your metabolism. And these things can all influence your, your metabolism. But think about this. If you've read uh, the diabetes code from Dr. Jason Fong, great book. Everybody should read it. Everybody, everybody should read it. He talks about the body set weight, where your body has this like thermostat. When you um, re just reduce the amount of calories you eat, not necessarily the type of calories, not necessarily fasting, you just cut down on portion size. So you, um, your body decides, oh, there's less energy coming in so we should use less energy so initially you might lose some weight then you'll plateau and you'll gain it all all back read the book really great book the bottom line is you have to really think about what we are doing every day a healthy lifestyle is just so important you know, it's not a diet. A diet is not going to fix your problems. There is a book actually written and it's called Diets Don't Work. And I fully agree. I do believe that lifestyle changes, small little things. You don't have to eat the whole elephant in one day. Take your time one bite at a time. And if you need help, that is why I'm making these videos. Hit the DM. If you see me on YouTube, subscribe and uh, the, uh, to my channel and comment. And I promise I'll get back to you. I will re read every comment and I'll reply to every comment. If you want to comment on this video on Facebook, do it. I'll, I'll reply. If you want to take it private and DM, do it. We'll, let's, let's just get ourselves in a healthier place. So... One thing that we have to really realize as is the endocrine system. We talked about cortisol. We talked about the insulin. All those are hormones and all the hormones in your body make a part of the endocrine system. And Dr. Jason Fong talks about um, that thing that regulates a thermostat in your body that regulates um, really basically your fat storage is insulin. I want to go a little bit step further. It's, it's like every hormone in your body, everything. It's not just metabolism that you have to watch out for. It, you know, every hormone in your body is in balance. It's like a symphony. There's these hundreds of instruments playing they all, every, each instrument or each section has a, a time to fall in to play the, in the symphony and a time to stop. Everything goes in harmony. That's why a symphony can play beautiful music because every single instrument, every player in that orchestra knows exactly when to start, when to stop, how hard, how soft, how high, how low to play their instrument in order to make the music. 
And that's exactly how it is in your body with the hormones. If one hormone gets out of whack, it is going to affect all the others. Or it has the potential to affect all the others. There's all these things where people say, oh, you know, I'm taking these six medicines because I've got a hormone imbalance. Yes, that might be true. But I want to go as far as to say, you know, there are things that we can do. Just lifestyle hacks, living a healthy lifestyle that can prevent all those hormone um, uh, imbalances or at least for the best part, delay it. You know, I'm, I'm not the doctor. I'm not your doctor. If something's wrong with you, you go see the doctor. I'm not your doctor. I'm a pharmacist. And I hear it so often where people come and talk to the pharmacist and you give them this piece of advice or uh, you explain science to them like I'm trying to do here. And they go, oh, so does, does that mean I can stop this medicine? No, it does not. Your doctor is the one to tell you to stop or start the medicine, not me. So with that said, let's look at this pretty picture. We have food over here. Does food impact your metabolism? Yes and no. There are things that you can eat that can impact your metabolism directly, where it slows the stomach emptying, slows the peristaltic movement and stuff like that. Ultimately, it gets back to the endocrine system. It's the effect of what those foods have on your, on your hormones. And we talked a lot about cortisol yesterday. Let's get back to stre stress, the dark cloud over here. You think that affects your, your metabolism? Absolutely. Does it all, also affect all the rest of the hormones in your body? Absolutely. Think about it this way. If you, there's three things, if you do these three things as part of a healthy lifestyle, things will look a lot better for you, especially in the face of, of, of your endocrine system and metabolism. Number one, if you watch the food that you're eating, if you decide to eat a healthy diet, and if you don't know you know, pizza is not a vitamin. It's, it's, it, pizza is not, it's not a vegetable. Hamburger is not vegetable. There are things that you can deliberately do to change your health outcome. And that is those things that I beg of you. If you need to know more, DM me, hit subscribe and comment on the YouTube channel. And let's talk about it. Let's let's really get into this because uh, you know you, your your life can be different. And again, think about this: if you don't exercise, you don't manage your stress well, and you eat whatever you like, whatever is on your plate, and you don't don't look at those things. Now, obviously things that you are going to influence hormones is insulin, leptin, and cortisol. Those, those, that's going to be kind of a direct influence. Now you also have sex hormones. You have uh, other hormones in your body. That's all were in balance with these. But now because of what you did or did not do, now you cause an imbalance because these other ones are now much higher than what they used to be. Guess what? You're going to cause that imbalance in other areas. Now your sex hormones don't work the way they do. They do. That can be detrimental, don't you think? So there are these three things that I highly advise. And number one is watch the food that you eat. Watch and not necessarily the amount of calories, I, I want people to walk away from calories and think about the types of food that you're eating. The types of food are so important. As again, 
go read the obesity code and the diabetes code dr jason Fung. great books number two stress management that you know that up to 80 percent of doctor's visitors, visits, doctor's visits are related to stress. There are people who are experiencing stress and they don't, they think it's just normal. I said, I used to be in that boat. I used to be 50 pounds overweight, never had energy, was always irritated when I, when I get home didn't want the kids or my wife to bug me because I worked hard and I need to rest. I had no idea how to manage my stress. Exercise. Food, stress, exercise. Do, the, do those three things. And if you need help with those three things, I beg of you to reach out. There are simple ways simple things and you again you don't have to eat the whole elephant in one day i would gladly help you where you're at to just start because if you start with one thing it is easier to add the others when, when you perfect the one thing so that is it for today i know it's a short little video but i really want everybody to go and Think about these things because your hormones run almost everything that's related to metabolism, everything kind of that really makes you feel well in your body. It's not digestion has a lot to do with it, but you know, the digestion again affects your hormones. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. Our endocrine system is so interesting. So, with that said, I'm going to sign off now. So hit the like button, leave a comment. If you're on YouTube, hit subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll get back to all of you. God bless. See you next time.